I don't have an intro. Hello. No plan. Breath of the Wild. Head empty, no plan, only Breath of the Wild. Uh, so, yeah, I haven't been playing much of this since Pal World came out. <laughs> I figure, I saw, every time I look at you on Discord, I see playing Pal World, and I'm like, yeah, he likes it. Uh, so what happened? I, okay, I did do, I remember, well, the, I, I did play some of this after our previous stream of it. And, uh, before we do anything, mm -hmm. I, I found where the horse god is. So you're gonna kill a horse and then just to see what happens? What, no, no, I already did. You already forget. Oh yeah, you killed a horse. Oh hey! Hello. Holy shit! You had a, like a little <laughs> hole down here. Oh god, the camera is in the reverse stick orientation of Pal World. Oh, I gotta no. get used to everything again. Oh no! Controls different. Oh no! <laughs> oh, this is gonna. This is gonna be. It's okay, the map button is the same. Look, there's the pin, I know where I'm going. Right, uh... So, uh, should we, should we start uh, with Sailor Moon? What? Let, let's wait oh, until, like, okay. there's gonna be a long period <laughs> of nothing happening before we start podcasting. Because we're gonna get to the horse thing and there's gonna be a cutscene. Maybe we should build, like, stuff like this as a podcast. And just release it as such. Just... Two people talking about stuff while playing games. Oh look, it's a fairy fountain. Except not. Because I'm gonna guess there's a fucking horse. Sweet boy. Oh, okay. I am right. Malanya. Malanya. That's thou, I mean, have you ever felt the pain of losing a horse companion? My horse is dead. My powers return to me. I may be able to help you out in some way. Okay. I tell you now, it hurt the horse a lot more than it hurt me. Let me help you, who loves horses so. Wow, you're you're rich as fuck. What you've been selling all all your uh, all your gyms? Ah, uh, food stuff. You've been cooking and just selling. Yeah. It's like, Chef Link. I hope it's just like a fucking like horse woman. It'd be funny. I don't know what it looks like. Uh, oh, there's just there's nobody. It's like yellow. Monkey. But, oh, it's a horse okay, mask. A okay. Horse mask. At last. Free of that tiny bud after so long. If my arms were corporeal. They'd have cramped for sure. Oh my gosh. He's he has like two, a. Uh, it's like a Rayman character. This is the hand boss. This is the Zelda hand boss. She's no, we don't fight her in this one. Yeah, you know what? She's like uh, she has two uh, wall masters as like companions. My my name is Melania. I am the god who watches over the horses of this world. So as you deserve a reward for setting me free, shall I make you my meal? Ah, just kidding. <laughs> Horse you love passes away from some sort of tragic, fatal accident. It is within my power to revive that horse. However, if I detect vile intent behind... Oh. Oh. Well. Uh. It's okay. They're kidding. Let me see. A horse loyal and true has fallen during your adventures. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I could end you right here and right now. I, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't know, is that a good horse? Otacon, yeah. Gentle temperament. That's... Yeah, you're an Otacon. The horse says that you killed it. You! How could you? But, oh, I, I think they're mad. Yeah. You're... Fuck, you're... What is it? You... I... You? Jest. It's, they're not sure that time if they're joking. You accidentally struck the horse, I'm sure. Would you like to revive this loyal, temporarily betrayed friend? Yeah, look, it's Bond as shit because you fucking killed it. You better not do it again. You have this bad habit of just fucking killing, like, innocent people in games. I was successfully able to bring back the horse. Next time, don't let the horse die. 
All right. Okay, can you actually, like, incur the wrath of the horse god? I don't know. I Do you want to find out? Are you that... Hmm... Don't. Don't. You know, be a real dick move to kill a horse right in front of the shrine of the horse god. <sighs> you, you're not going to. <laughs> I don't. Won't, I won't do it. You're just going to leave it here to see, like, be with your god. Yeah, there you go. You'll be safer here. Anyway, so last time we put off uh, the dungeons. We got two of them to do. Water I don't know if we'll get both of them, but uh, probably should get to the Zoras. Did you? Do you want it? Yeah. Do you want to do the water dungeon or the fire dungeon? Why are we? Why are we putting off the water dungeon? Is there a reason? Uh, I think one of the memories was in the Goron place. Oh yeah, you want to collect all of them so you could get like a reward, and you didn't because you still needed to like complete like. Oh, you you. Yeah, because you didn't, did you go to Goron City yet? Yeah, you did. Yeah. But you didn't, like, advance that plot line, so that's another memory uh, that you needed to do. Uh, I did get the... Oh, you... I did get the armor. Okay, never so mind. I bought, I bought the full armor set. Okay. I am now decked out and ready for the water dungeon. <laughs> you have the swim... You have the swim stuff for... God. All is that... as it should be. Yeah, damn right. Like a fucking... That, you know what? That looks more knightly than any kind of, like, knight armor in this game. Just like... I guess. I am the... I am the Red Knight! Fear me! It looks a little Dark Soulsy. The yeah. helmet, mostly. Yeah, the helmet. <laughs> uh... You know, a Zelda Dark Souls game would basically have you, like, fucking killing, like, the corrupt sages from Ocarina of Time, and th those are the boss battles. Yeah. You've, you've discussed this idea. I Have I discussed it on stream? Uh, during the Archipelago, I think? I think... Was it that? Yeah. I, okay, yeah. Muzu is most think... likely at the square down below. Okay, we, we need to convince Huzu... To like, I don't know, join us or something. So, so of all the people that react to Link, like, I don't think it was that far down below. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, you're, I you're, forgot my you, jump button. You're under the city. Uh, I, I, the Zoras reacted to your presence the worst, whereas um the who who reacted to your presence the best was it the Gorons? Uh, okay. the Koroks. They, they were so thrilled to have, like, the legendary hero. They had, like, yeah. an inn ready that they had, like, had no one to sleep in it for a hundred years. You're injured, by the way. So, what happened to you? I am? Oh, I don't yeah. know. You just didn't notice? That's what you get when you turn off your pain receptors. Probably fought a crab or something. You see, you see that? I, I mentioned they did that, it. uh... What? Every game should do this! Yeah. It's, ladder, it's just yeah. this game and Majora's Mask have ever made only the right side of the ladder accessible. What a thrill. Oh, uh, I was going to say, speaking of Kojima, I, I mentioned that you should watch... Did you watch the uh, Death Stranding 2 stuff yet? Uh, no, I haven't seen the trailer. There's a fucking revenge... A full-on revengeance, like, sequence in it. Which uh, is not like, something I would expect from, like, Death Stranding. It's something I would expect from uh, Hideo Kojima, but not from Death Stranding. You're right. Uh, here, talk to oh, we Leto. Zora you... River. It's me, Leto. Okay. Do we need it? Oh. Listen to what King Dorophon had to say. Yes, so that is the cause of our suffering in Zora's domain. It's all because of the beast Ruta. Oh. That's why my senior apprentice, Franck, and I are repairing the domain. However, our materials are a bit depleted. Oh. I, I have those. I have, you have a lot of those. Have you by any chance already stumbled across some luminous stones during your travels? <laughs> yes. You have ten of them? I shit out ten every morning. Here, Here you go. Are the stone. Oh. Thank you, you're really giving me ten luminous stones. Yeah. Please excuse me while I count them. One! Two! Ah, ah, ah! Three! Four! 
Oh, he's really doing it. Is this a ritual, or does he just, like, distrust us, or does is he just, like, trolling us? I think he distrusts you. He's... Ah, cool, you... Oh, that's right, I must reward you. Oh, okay, that's worth it. I'll give you a diamond. I'll give you one extra as a bonus. Great! There's another diamond. So every ten luminous stones, you get a diamond. I'm guessing. Uh... Okay. Well, that'd be a, g a great exchange rate if that's true. Oh yeah, that's like. The... How many do diamonds diamond? do I have? Is this infinite? Five. I think Five I diamond? need six for the next whatever the next diamond upgrade is, and the diamond gear is only like uh, it's guardian proof is the effect that it has. Ah. Uh, well, that's good. Useful. Uh, how many luminous stones you got? Uh oh, I could wear like the the secret the shulk. Outfit for swimming. The salvager stuff. Oh, yeah, do that. Where are the Shulk stuff? A Shulk or a Rex? No, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, so it's Rex. Yeah. Can't, I don't think you can upgrade it, though, so your d defense is going to be a bit low. But that's, yeah. That be fine. That'll be fine. You'll be uh, fine. I, what else? I have, I have Zora armor. Does it have, have a set loose? swim dash stamina up as the set bonus? Eh. Oh we'll try God. it. Yeah. We'll, we'll use this link for a brief period. Uh, fucking, uh, fucking Waterworld link. Oh, wait, no, that... Okay, that's different from, uh, from Pirate Link. Because... No, yeah. this is... I, 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 no. Never mind. I forgot about this, dude. Came all the way here, but it was in vain. I have no desire to speak with you. Yeah, but look, I'm, I'm wearing, I'm wearing salvage shit. Listen well, there is something you need to know. He who stands here, the man called Link, is the one whom my sister Mifa had feelings for. We were going to be betrothed. I was only a child then, so I did not know it myself at the time. But it is so. I grew up hearing my father tell stories, some of which were about my sister's undying love for a Hylian named Link. No. But she loved me. All the ladies love the wide men. You cannot fool me with such a fanciful lie, not this Zora. How could Lady Mifa possibly have feelings for a Hylian like him? Oh, okay, Grandpa. Facts are clear, he remembers nothing, even when he looks upon Princess Mifa's statue. And then this is where we get the memory. It is true, it is the truth, though you never knew it, he was ever in Mifa's heart. Ah, oh, yep, remember. So once you get all these memories, you go back to the, uh... You still Ew. think that there's more champion gear? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna shut up so I can hear this. I was thinking. This reminds me of the time we first met. You were just a reckless child. Always getting yourself hurt at every turn. Every time, I would heal you, just as I'm doing right now. I thought it was funny how, being a Hylian, you looked grown up so much faster than I did. I was... I was always willing to heal your wounds, even back then. So if this Calamity Ganon does in fact return, what can we really do? We just don't seem to know much about what we'll be up against. But know this. That no matter how difficult this battle might get, if you, if anyone ever tries to do you harm, then I will heal you. No matter when, or how bad the wound, I hope you know that I will always protect you. <sighs> Once this whole thing is over, maybe things can go back to how they used to be when we were young. You know. Perhaps.
perhaps we could spend some time together. She's, she's the Sophiel. She's, she's the childhood friend. It's a shame that... Because Link only ever has feelings for... For Zelda. I want, I want Link to have, like, an existential crisis about how he only has to have the same feelings for the same woman every reincarnation. Yeah. Like, he doesn't have a choice in the matter. Red string of, of fate. <sighs> Wait, so my character talks. This is Link talking. This is one of those instances. He talks occasionally, but he's mostly silent. There's that uh, video compilation of every time Link talks, quote-unquote, in a Zelda game. It's not a lot. There's no way you remembered her just now when it's most convenient. In any case, without any solid proof, I cannot possibly take you at your word. Or what do you need, then? Do so, and I shall tell you how to get those shock arrows. I don't need shock! I got plenty of shock arrows! You. Uh... Oh, you mean these? I, I, I just. What do you mean these? I don't need you. Stubborn fool! Lucky for us, we have proof. Link, we go do. ahead and show Muzu the Zora armor my father gave you. Well, I could have got that anywhere, but okay. That's only there's only the one. Oh right, right. I have to wear it. Okay. No, this this just proves that I fought. Fuck, what, what were they called? The giant metal things. But I fought. <laughs> Here's Zora armor. Look. Look. Hmm. Alright. Muzu, Muzu, look closely at the clothes Link is wearing. <laughs> He's gonna keep moving the gold, gold posts. Oh, it's like a it's like a skinny suit. I, yeah. I guess. Yeah, it's a fucking diver suit. What in <laughs> the... That is the Zora armor. Lady Mifa made that by hand, and yet it fits you perfectly. Very perfectly. Oh. Now you understand, do you not? Now you know who your who her heart belonged to, and who she made this special armor for. The fact that this armor fits Link perfectly should be proof enough that Mifa made it for him and him alone. Boy, it's a good thing that I didn't put on any weight over the past hundred years. Yeah, you were in a coma. Like, you could have lost weight anyway. Well, you know, like I've been adventuring for, like, a week or two. It's... Now that you know, well, you must promise to help him save us all. Please, tell no! us where we can find the shock arrows. I will, but I have one more favor. I want you to show me why... Why she liked you so much, if you know what I mean. You flathead. I do not approve of asking for help from a Hylian, but I suppose it's our only option at this point. I am a proud Zora. The, 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 the Zoras have never been more elf-like than in this game. Yeah. I like I like el elves except fish. That's that's their characterization, and it's... It's just, it's funny to me. Tall mountain over yonder is called Ploymus Mountain, and there you will find Shatterback Point. Terrifying creatures made its home up there. This awful beast shoots volley after volley of shock arrows. Okay, you you want to? You want me to fight a Lionel? Oh god! Can you even? That Lionel. That beast the does man... indeed wield shock arrows. That is certainly one way to collect them quickly. I, I have over seventy. You have to fight the Lionel, though. In order to appease the Divine Beast, I estimate you will need, hmm, at least 20 shock <laughs> arrows. I've got Do you 70... think you can gather that many? Gee, I don't know. I don't know, crazy, bitter old man. What have we here? It seems you already have some shock arrows. <laughs> Why didn't you say so? <sighs> Still, you can go ahead up and fight the Lionel. I'm not fighting a fucking Lionel. You know how many weapons I'd break? I'll be waiting for you at East Reservoir Lake, right by the Divine Beast. So, are they actually suggesting that if you hadn't done this, you would fight the Lionel multiple times to grind shock arrows, instead of, say, uh, buying them? Yeah. Like, this is, this is, this is dumb. Just, well, you could buy them. How? Certainly Imagine. some players came here first. 
They're like, oh, just go fight the Lionel. And they fight the Lionel and you get your ass kicked. Like. Hi. <laughs> Hello. You've got a weird face. I'm a Hylian. Hi, Leon. Never met one of those before. If you're a High Leon, that means you came from really far away, right? You didn't happen yeah, to see my part. mom May on the way here, did you? Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm... I'm sorry. Was your mom a horse by any chance? No? Sorry, I can't help. <laughs> Was your mom a horse? Pixel Ixels apparently came here first and fought the Lionel. It didn't go oh. well. Yeah, just... Oh yeah, fight a Lionel. What do you got? A stick. Good luck. Lionel's... Is the fact that Lionel's are like... Are like really super strong, although that's part of it, is the fact that you just lose weapons. Like, if you, if you fight a Lionel, you must accept the fact that you're gonna lose at least like... Three or four weapons. Yeah, they're damaged sponges. Yeah, and that and that kind of sucks. You can't have a game where your <clears throat> where your weapon durability is a factor, and also have like enemies that are like that are like incredibly strong, and like have like a lot of HP. That's just that is. That, you want to talk about how you you talk about like stuff being bad game design? I think you throw that out quite a bit, but that is the bad design. Hey, well, we're gonna have, like, a weapon durability system. Okay, and we'll also have some enemies that are, like, damage sponges. So we're just gonna... So you're just gonna lose, like, five weapons dealing with them? Well, yeah. Can you repair your weapons? Well, no. Once you know how to defeat one, it's easy, though. I wouldn't call it easy. It, it takes, like, prep work. Yeah. If you're fully prepared and you've, like, put the grind in, then... You know, it's going through the motions, but... Like, the thing is, Dark Souls had a weapon durability, like, thing, but, but most, but some enemies, the enemy, like, most enemy, like, regular enemies were, e were relatively easy to dispatch, and then the boss, and it, but, and also durability didn't, like, drop very quickly for a lot of weapons. Got my got uh, big old of... fuck you sword. Mighty Lionel's. Uh, that one-handed? Just... That's probably why I'm using the Stone Smasher, I just want to get, like, get rid of it. What, what does it do? It smashes stones? It, it's a big, mm. clunky Goron weapon. <laughs> yeah, and Bloodborne didn't have weapon durability. It had... yeah. So yeah, I just... I just if you have weapon durability, you gotta make sure that your game is like built around that as a mechanic. You can repair your weapons in Pal World. Yeah. Also, also, once they break, they, like, uh, they don't get destroyed, they just turn shitty until you repair them. You know what? I would like, I would have liked that as, like, a Legend of Zelda a mechanic. You can, rather than them breaking you, just they get shitty until you repair them. Can I, like, enslave a bunch of Bokoblins and automate their production of my weapons? Can we do, can we do that? <laughs> You have your yeah. Zora armor and enough shock arrows. I, I don't I'm need the ready. armor, but yeah, I got enough shock arrows. I'm ready. Wonderful! You never cease to amaze, Link. Let us go and appease that divine beast as one. As one? Oh, you got the Tara earrings? I, I like how they like their idea is to appease the beast. They, 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 they're treating it as, like, more sacred than the other tribes, I think. Because the others yeah, kind of knew that we were, like, going uh, into a dungeon to kill something. Um, uh, there's something off, there's a, the so, thing to the side is highlighted. I just noticed it. Being to the side? The, okay, look at the, look at OBS. Huh? The side of the window, there's uh, the Yeah, that, that doesn't show up in the recording. I, yeah, I fixed that. It showed up here, I just was curious. Unless you have enough shock arrows in your Zora armor, we cannot possibly hope to... I really gotta... It's worse than what I'm wearing! I think actually it's better than what I'm wearing, but I'll lose the effect. Put on the fucking armor. Fine, but I'm gonna put on my earrings too. Put on, put on the wetsuit. Fine. Actually, you know, I'll put on my my amber earrings that make me tanky somehow. It's great that that exists. 
and my barbarian pants. That, no, <laughs> that, you, that you looks stupid. Having... Wow, that looks stupid. <laughs> you look. I... <laughs> You look like a surfer who's just wearing pauldrons. Glad to see you're ready to go. I guess he, he approves of this outfit more than my previous outfit. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yep, let's go and appease the beast. Put on the armor. Gaze now upon the divine beast's back. Okay. See those glowing pink orbs? You'll need to shoot each one of them with a shock arrow. With your okay. Zora armor, you now have the ability to ascend waterfalls. That is why. Okay. Is that a specific ability of the Zora armor? Yep. I believe in you. But thank you. I'm sorry. I was just thinking of like, oh, like that's something you would say. It says responding to our presence. It's up to you to ward off Ruta's attacks. Okay. Yeah, how? Ancient and mysterious. Oh, I guess you should be pink. Hurtling giant ice blocks we'll need to watch out for. I shall leave those to you. Uh. Uh, do, do you want me that that seems like a fire arrow problem you still want me to use the shock arrows yes by the way do you have any triple oh, you do you have a couple triple oh you want triple me to use shot. the triple bows i don't know i don't i've never fought this boss so i i thought i think it would be a good idea 306 arrows wow you're ready for a siege right, this seems like uh is... loose arrows with the speed of a gale aerial combat isn't there one that's like good at long distances it's a golden bow. Yeah, do you have a quick shot? Watch that ice. Okay. Uh, what do you want me to do to it? Shoot it! You're you <laughs> I don't know what to do. Okay, yeah. Uh, maybe not maybe not the shock arrows, maybe some regular arrows. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, and then he's gonna send the waterfall, and then... Oh, uh, there was a, there was a quick time thing. Yeah. Alright, now fire! Is this one enough? Yeah, you got it. So I guess regular arrows to, like, deflect the regular ice, and then... I'm not very good at this ice thing. Why is it not working? No, uh, regular arrows work. Okay, you just, you just didn't leave the target. <laughs> you know, it's a good thing that you put on those earrings. It's all right. I need. I can like get a snack on the back of this snack if I need to. <laughs> I get it. It's it's funny. It's it's funny. Because, it's funny because it's hot. There's a glitch that can make Sidon follow you, but he follows you swimming, which is so funny to see. Alright, shock arrows! Man. What? What? I pressed A. Hello? Hold on? That was so weird. That's weird. Oh, hello. Ice mines? This, this is a great boss battle. I like this boss battle. So the only one that you fought in, like, the only one you completed was the Gerudo one. I didn't later complete the uh, aerial one, and that was easy. God, what's, yeah. what's the fucking, what's the fucking, uh, Goron one gonna be like? I don't. I don't remember if we saw what like what creature the Goron one was. I think it's a spider. All right, let's 
the last one gonna be? Oh! Fire everything! Fire everything! Oh. I, I, I realized that. I, I wasn't like angry because I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. Man, this would be mm. a lot more dangerous if he fired like all of them at once. Good thing he's not doing that. You know, I'm protected by the good elephant. Milton the f that is this is this like Milton the friendly elephant? Is this what is this what General Zebo was gonna build if he was left unchecked? On toys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's just like I've got an idea. We'll build a giant like elephant and it shoots ice. Speaking of uh, shitty movies, I was made aware of Battlefield Earth recently. I'm surprised you've never, you've never heard of it. Uh, we did this one, so we want the second one. Well, if you're up in the air, you can... Oh, I guess you could shoot the other one. I just realized, you get you a shot, like, both of them. You have oh. enough, like, stamina to do that. Wait, we did both of these. Why are you taking me up this side? Side on. All right. Going this Gotta way. Gotta do this shit myself. Okay, it's uh, the other one. The other one. I'll... Okay, there we go. Did it. That was astounding. Absolute thrill. All right, over. Yeah, Trialness. Battlefield Earth. You want me to use like the ice? Does that work on the ice things? Can I stop ice with ice? Or you could use you could use the uh, oh, hey, we we calmed the elephant. Ruta's floating higher now. You wanted to venture inside it, right? Oh, you're not coming. I'll no, uh, would... wait out here, champ. Why would I? In there, it's dark and scary. All right. I'm guessing it'll have to do with water levels. Probably. Well, Link, Dungeons here we are. <laughs> Looks like this is where the real work starts. Best of luck. Nice job cutting up the water flow Best from of luck. Fine beast. Show the enemy no fear. I'll see you back at Zor's domain. Farewell. What's the plot of the sequel? Do you have to fight these four things again? Tears of the Kingdom? Yeah. I have no idea. Ganon's it. Ganondorf's in it. We know that yeah. much. Yeah, he's hot. <laughs> I like, I like there's this, like, this rehydrated Ganon, I think, is the closest we'll ever get to a good guy Ganon. Yeah. Just, uh, activate my magic tablet. Oh, hello, Mifa. I must say that I am so happy to see that this day has finally arrived. Now, Ruta can be freed of Ganon's control. Now, Ruta can be freed. You'll need a map to prevent you from getting lost. I know what kind of character they were going for, but it's not a very good voice actress for Mifa. Uh, who would you have preferred? Uh, it's anyone who can emote. Stephanie Shea. Yeah. I forget who voiced Sylphie Ellen Slayers. Not that Slayers was, like, a stellar dub. It was just kind of of its time. <laughs> yeah. It was good for what it was, except for except for the time where, where the girl, the fucking kid. The girl. <laughs> the, the moon girl. All I know... About uh, the only thing I, <laughs> I I only know her as 
the girl. And when I say the girl, you know what I mean. Oh, that was that was my arrow button. What's my attack button? It's a square. Okay. Yes, I know it's not. Everything's PlayStation. Shut up. I fucking hate how Nintendo and Xbox have the same letters in different places on their controllers. <laughs> it destroy. It's ruined gaming. Undo that shit. It's funny because most because uh, now now most PC like. Uh, like, uh, ports, they just are like, you know what? Fuck it. We're just gonna have, uh... I'm just going to have the fucking, uh... Like, the function of the button? Well, they're... We're, no, they're just like, hey, what layout do you want? You, in this menu, pick... Click what layout you want. Do you want the PlayStation layout, the Nintendo layout, or the... Or the Xbox layout? For, click this for... Or you could play Tony Hawk HD and just get keyboards, no matter what you're using. <laughs> that was it. Oh, you can't activate it because you haven't activated the main control unit. So you gotta come back here after you... Oh no, that's that's where the boss battle's gonna be. Alright, check the map. What's the map look like? Oh no, you haven't activated that map yet. Alright. Okay. Is there swimming in this game? I forget. I don't. There's no underwater swimming. By the way, speaking of movies, it wasn't Ender's Game. Fuck you, Jack. What was the movie? It was a gamer. Oh, a 2009 okay. movie. About, uh, like, prisoners being controlled in a death game was okay, the one I'm always thinking of. That, that, that is, yeah, that is not, Ender, you described it like Ender's Game, though. You, you, you gave so little information, I thought it was Ender's Game. I didn't like, really give any, any information, I, remember, I just, I, rem I mentioned, I remember like, gamer. remembering I it, it, but I... Anytime it comes up of, like, people getting controlled in, in, or people controlling others or killing others with a video game. Just like imagine you're like a fucking uh, a fucking like mer like mercenary slash prisoner, and you have a gun. And you're about to go in a life or death situation. Your fate is being controlled, and then the person you hear you hear is like a fucking Call of Duty person being like being like, oh, get these these motherfuckers, and slur slur slur, and then you're just like, oh god damn, I'm gonna die. Oh, it's up there. Wait, you want me to just? Oh, I could just jump, I guess. Uh, you, or you can shoot the eye and take this whole thing out. There's an eye? Oh, there it is. Yes! There is a fucking eye! Are you serious? No one looks up, okay? I was telling you to look up! I'm like, oh, there's the eye. And you, you, by process of elimination, if you if you don't see it there, you could have looked up. But no, instead you're like, you're like, this idiot doesn't know what he's talking about. He's probably eat something. You're, you're really low on health. The guy from Toys should uh, team up with the guy from Gamer. Oh, uh, oh, like General the villain. Zivo? Yeah, Zivo. Do you not have food? Oh, food. That's this menu. That's right. I got it. Do you want lunch? All right. Full recovery. <laughs> yeah. Only healing strat is just to take one item, move, mesh it with a hardy item, and then, and then. Uh, well, this looks go. to be rotation themed. Is this another rotation themed dungeon? That's that's lame. I don't I don't like that. Uh could be ice themed. Hmm. <laughs> Love the fact that the fucking twist of the movie was that was that the girl was a robot the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody, and nobody was surprised by it. Not even the guy who didn't know that he was a ro that she was a robot the entire time. She's like, oh, I guess that's why she she still looks the same. <laughs> you can see why I was obsessed with that movie for a while, right? Just. 
You have nothing to say about that. I don't blame you. Oh, okay, that's like a piston of some kind. What did that do? Yeah. I don't think it did anything. Let me climb. I must climb. So Battlefield Earth, uh, what do you know about the movie? Uh, what I saw on Wikipedia about it is that it's like, uh, heavily connected to Scientology due to the- Yes. The- It being based on a book by the author of Scientology, or L. Ron Hubbard. Yes. L. Ron Hubbard. L. Ron Hubba Hubba. Who apparently wrote three screenplays for the movie within a year after he finished the novel, so sure that it was going to become a movie. It didn't until, like, Scientologist Tom Cruise made it his, like, pet project to years later. And he couldn't get funding for it until he found a, like, group who specialized in actors' pet projects. Not, not, to, not Tom Cruise, uh, John Travolta. John Travolta, sorry. Yeah, but it's fine. They're both in Scientology. It's just that Tom Cruise is the big one, and John Travolta is, like, the one that's, like, kind of off to the side. Uh, so, yeah, uh, the, that, that movie's fucking insane. Like, like it's, it's also not considered, big... like, one of the worst movies of all time. I, I, I there's ten other, there's ten movies, like, above, uh, that I put up. At least ten moves that I put above it as far as being the worst movie of all time, but it's still pretty bad. It's bad, but it's also but the, but the good news is that it's bad in like in like interesting and funny ways as opposed to it just being a boring movie. You can do it. I think it needs to be closer. Like the like the one thing I said, and I'm not going to provide any further context other than than like what I posted, but but like. Cavemen and jets. Cavemen of like jetpacks? No, no, no. Like actual, like honest to god, fight, fighter jets. Sorry, I provided more context than I should have. Uh, have we been in this room? And you looked at you looked at the fucking alien race that's featured, and you're like, those are they just those are just Klingons. Uh. Yeah, this is the room that we can't activate yet. Yeah, because because all right. Why does this feel so linear and yet so complex? Uh, not not yet, Pixel. Wait. Yeah. Wait. E yeah. Got him. We got access to the map now, which means we're gonna get access to the rest of the distilling map. We looked at that. I looked at that gate, and I'm like, there must be a switch we have to toggle somewhere. That was my first thought. I'm guessing that was your first thought too. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So this is probably going to be an ice-themed dungeon or an ice power. Yeah. Oh, we, our access is the trunk. Good. You've, You've obtained the map, map of the. Of the oh, she beast. talks. Okay. You will see several glowing points on your map, right. which represent the terminals that control Ruta. Take Ruta back by activating all of the terminals. Be careful. Pixel claims that this is the easiest of the dungeons. Well, that would be a first for a water dungeon. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to toggle boots so far, so... He's not hes not looking. You can take off your Zora armor now. Oh, and, yeah, like, yeah, put yeah. on the, put on the good one. Well, it must have been weird designing a Zelda, a, a Zelda dungeons without... in a game without Zelda items. We have the spells. That's the closest equivalent. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Hmm. Uh, what what do I want? I need to do snow quill. What what do you mean? You just put on the put on, put on the water shit. I'm guessing All there's right. gonna be water level toggle toggling. Uh. What are ten? What are ten movies uh, that you think are like the worst movies you've ever seen? Oh boy! And and why is Sword for Truth not one of them? <laughs> it's not. It it had like at least some merit animation wise at least. Yeah, there's. It was fucking bizarre. That 
That was the that was the movie where at one point a, a female character inexplicably had a demon on, on like tattooed on her back that was eating babies, and I'm just like, why do you have that tattooed on your back? You're just I, asking for somebody to call you an evil person. I think. Though I th that was right. I said this recently. The worst anime movie I've seen is probably Hell's. Yeah. That one that so, I watched with Wicker and was just both boring and confusing and bad. Uh, would you would you consider Secret of the Hunchback like up and up there? No. Or no, because it's because it's, it's pretty. It's pretty mediocre, or, is it pre or, or would you say it's, like, uh, approaching good? It's mediocre. It's not, like, okay. bad, bad. It's got, it had funny moments. Like, that time where they were starting to, re to revolt, and they had an opportunity to free uh, that movie's version of Quasimodo, and they're just, they just went, We will avenge you, friend! And then they left. I think the canon, like, Hunchback 2 was probably the worst of the three bad Hunchback films we saw. Oh, the, uh, let's give Quasimodo a girlfriend, uh, one. Okay, so that... I do need to activate all the things before I can do this one. Also, lol cannon. <laughs> lol cannon. Well, I, I'm I'm laughing because you said cannon, and I and I don't think even Disney considers that fucking movie cannon. Well, <laughs> it was a Disney movie, rather. Let's say. Yeah, and I think that was worth worse than the what was it? Golden Films and Good Times were the two other ones we watched. Yeah, yeah Golden Films, Good Times, and. Uh, we haven't watched any Dingo Pictures stuff. Did, I don't. Did they even do a Hunchback? They did. Oh, did they? You want to? You want to watch it? It's it's really bad. <laughs> I guess we could complete the set. <laughs> it's it's also it's it's at once the most accurate to like the original uh, story and also pretty fucking bad. Uh. Oh, there you go. Yeah, just just move it. Spin. Spin. Okay. Oh, uh, by the way, you can also you can use the map to like move the trunk, I guess, and that'll do stuff. I'm guessing that'll raise or lower the water level in the. Uh... Four terminals remaining. Oh, that's Don't right. Yeah, I'm just reminding you because. Death Note live action is bad in my opinion. I assume you're talking about the American one, because there's also Japanese li live action Death Note movies, and those Which were. Is... Okay, those were okay. Yeah, um, it probably ended the the series where it should have end, ended. Uh, except for the third one, the third one was fucking bizarre. <laughs> the, the inheritor of the G's. You mean his kid? Fuck! Don't be. A... But they weren't though. To... They were like weird clones or something. One was a clone, I think. The other was actually a kid, but... Or was it a kid? I don't know. Right, yeah, let's do the maximum and see what happens. I'm guessing it... Oh, you know what? It's in the fucking center. It is those two, uh... Cogs. Those two. Well, not, it's not gonna be in here. It's gonna be in the main chamber. That's, that's not the main chamber. Where are you going? I don't know. I'm trying to get to the main chamber. All right. Uh, is there like, the isn't there with... stairs like out here or something? Yeah, yeah, not there. The other way, that way, yeah. Uh, we still have not watched the uh, the Netflix Death Note. We have to. We uh, it's on our list. We, we don't. We need to have like just a bad movie marathon when, whenever like just one weekend just like sit down and like we gotta watch like one bad movie a weekend just to get get a lot of our backlog out of the way because that's the only time we'll, we really have time to like watch stuff all right so so they're moving okay that goes i can get up there already so this pointless to go this way Although there was a chest that I didn't get. Yeah, there. That's yeah. Don't fall again. All right, and we have a silver rubio. 
this game. It's amazing that inflation has never hit Hyrule. Like, they put 100 rupees in here, you know, a thousand years ago. I don't know. A lot of that armor is, like, really pricey. Okay, you want to get... So what can I do here? I can't... Oh, why... Well, can hit that. I can't do anything with this because it's going the wrong way, though. Uh, it is spinning now. Yeah. Pretty fast. Maybe you slow... Maybe you can slow it down. And then... So what does that do? Oh, okay. So... So that piston, once it gets up to the top, it'll... It'll... It'll be in there and then something will open. Okay, I get it. There's like a lot of. I'm trying to think of other golden films like uh, properties. Ah! That was, it was a clever attempt. Uh, what about um? We watched the magic, the magic of the snow, snowman or whatever. The gift, magic gift of the snowman. Yeah, magical gift of the snowman. That's the one. That, Which that my was... favorite part was when, like, at the thematic climax or something when the like the everything's at the at its shittiest yeah. and the kids say something along the lines of we never should you, you can just get out of here snowman and he's like okay bye <laughs> and he just leaves the kids to die <laughs> what a dick That's, what, what was, uh, the whole premise of that movie I don't, I don't know if we talked about this before the whole premise of the movie is that it's a story right and uh <laughs> And, and the whole thing, and <laughs> oh, that's not gonna work. I need to stop the other one. Yeah. And <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I need a moment. They're like saying to the to the kids is like, oh, your sister is sick and she might die. And they're all like, what? And the boy's like, what? Oh no! Is this is, like how can we stop her? And then. Then they say, well, she has to want to get better. <laughs> Is this the same disease that allows her not to walk? Yes. So dumb. Ah! This sucks. You're not doing it right. Shut up, I'm not. Ancient core. Cool. Need more of those. You know, it's a good thing getting crushed between two blocks only deals one heart of damage. I kind of wanted to see what would happen. Uh. So okay, so this is here. Deal? Oh! Okay. So. If this is gonna go, that's gonna open. And so. That's... Man! Okay, well, we know what was... we need to do, I guess. Yeah. Fancy lighting effects in here. I swear I'm getting delirious again. Um, I'm just all these like bad movies that are like going through my head. Oh, oh, uh, should we talk about Sailor Moon now? Okay. What about it? Like Crystal? Yeah. We're watching that. And we're we're through we're through almost up to season three, and we got. And I have to say that like that season, I think that like that arc of uh, Sailor Moon's probably my favorite. The Death Busters. Yeah. The, the yeah. first arc was very, like... Uh, well, first off, Sailor Moon Crystal follows the manga a lot more closely than the original anime did. Yeah. The original anime just kind of added all of the Power Rangers-style stuff. And so, in a weird twist, a lot of people don't like Crystal because, well, this isn't the, the version I liked, even though it's, you know, the manga closer version. Well, I got news for you. I didn't like the 90s version. Fuck you. Uh, I like first arc is very, like, like fantasy princess kind of stuff. Then the second arc is the, like, more dark fantasy time travel fair. Yes, and you know what? Uh, that one of the changes they made that I really liked was the fact they didn't make uh, 
make Mamoru such a dick. Yeah, which, <laughs> as like, you found out, is apparently because the, direct, the, direct the showrunner, the director of the original anime, just didn't like the character. <laughs> yeah, he didn't like Mamoru. Or they didn't like... I don't know if it was he or she. Or, 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 I, it was... They didn't like Mamoru. Uh-oh. It, it's fine. Just get trapped, and then, and then when it goes up right... Oh, yeah. no! Oh, no! Get out of there! I don't know if this was how I was supposed to do this. Oh no, it's boiling acid! Activate. Hello? Camera? Okay. I did it. You did it. That was... <laughs> you can do it! The hero! Anyway, the uh, third arc, the one you were talking about, was your favorite, is almost Lovecraftian. It's got a little bit of, like, yeah. cyberpunk elements. It's got, like, yeah, mad it's, science. It's got, it's, it's very, it's very Shin Megami Tensei-ish with the, with how it, uh, with how it is. And just, like, the mad, the black magic summoning demons and all cyberpunk and stuff. But it's, it's a very, it's a very uh, interesting blend of all that stuff. And I, I really like it for that reason. Um... Also, the, the main character, the main villain, is voiced by Keith Silverstein again. Love hearing Keith Silverstein. <laughs> oh yeah, so he's, he kind of looks like him too. So it's just, it's just Hawk Moth again. Yeah, it's just Hawk Moth. It's just Hawk Moth, but, but he he wear he's wearing, he's wearing glasses, and, and one part of the glasses is just like a, a like a uh, painted on eye. So he looks obviously, so obviously the villain. It's not even funny. As opposed to, they, they use the same voice cast for the original series. And I kind of oh, want to hear Keith Silverstein doing, like, the crazy all-black, white-eyes, glasses professor. Yeah. I think he does in the Viz dub. Yeah, no, it's the same voice say, cast. As yeah, Crystal. I want to... I want to... Oh, man. I, I, I'm, I've never been as tempted to uh, to watch 90s and, like, Sailor Moon again. As, Oops! Like, <laughs> what the? <laughs> I was trying to parkour, okay? <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Alright. Minnie, um... I fucked up! Huh? The mob's after us! Oh, okay. That's why. That's why you would wear the Zorus thing here because it allows you to swim up waterfalls, and uh, that was uh, a way to get back up to that floor without going up the. Ah. Uh... Oh. Everything is coming together. We, we everything is making sense. Are we sure we can't do it with it? Equip it to swim up waterfalls. Yeah. Okay. Let me get my barbarian pants back and my uh, tank earrings. Oh, well, there's one. One what? Oh, chest? I'll get that. No, uh, uh, a thing. It's right there. See oh, it? I, yeah, I don't... Uh, that's a spout, though. Oh, that's a chest, too. In the middle of... That's one of the oh! things we need to activate. But it's okay. underwater in the center of it. Link, just like dive for a brief moment. Okay, so I guess this is the part where we need to change the trunk so it's not doing water. Does this lower the water level? I don't, I don't think, know what I, it does exactly. I think it just messes with the center gear. But no? not with this one. Yeah. Maybe if you... Maybe... Oh! Is there like a floodgate we can open to lower this water level? Maybe you get back to it later. Let's get back to it later. Let's just uh, head up the waterfall. It's either that, or... It's either, I'm, I'm thinking it's either that, or you fire an ice arrow into it, and that stops it. 
That'd be dumb. I don't think that's how that would work, but or like kind of specific. Ice. Yeah, I know. Uh, or crayon. <gasps> yes. Okay, I guess that is how it works. Never used this like this at any other point in this game, so we really gotta just assume this is going to work. Uh, by the way, uh, uh Sailor Moon, the, the fucking, uh, Haruka, Sailor, uh, Sailor Uranus. Yeah. She is, that, oh man, I, I have thoughts about her. The, what kind of thoughts, Jack? The thoughts were, I'm just astonished at the, at the fucking, uh, like, <laughs> so, so, uh, so, there's a, okay. I gotta wait for a talk. <laughs> well, first off, the characters Uranus and Neptune, Uranus and Neptune, are like uh, they d they just come off as this kind of like too good to be true, perfect beings. At first, they feel like Mary Sue self insert characters. Yes, and then everything revolves around him. There's like a, a, a around them. There's like a romantic rivalry thing. Where uh, yeah. Sailor Moon's girlfriend sees Haruka next next to her, boy boyfriend, and, and her and his thought is like, hmm, I wonder what he's going through. Not that guy's hitting on my girlfriend. He's very trusting of of Usagi. It was, this is not something someone thinks. It's 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 very forced that it's always about them. Anyway, so uh. So they finally uh, talk, and she's like, "Okay, here's what's going on. That girl over there, she she's like an apocalypse maiden. She awakens, everything will will die. It's true. We were there. Like after the Moon Kingdom fell, we were all summoned, and then she was awakened, and then we all died. Never mind the fact that things were all fucked anyway. It just it, it was a bad thing that it happened. And she's like, you know what we have to do." We have to kill her before she awakens. And they're all like, "We're gonna kill a child." They're like, yeah, yeah. You're not. What, you're not down with this. I feel like you uh, skipped some narrative bits, but yeah, that that happened. <laughs> okay, you want to fill in? <laughs> I, I I don't mind if you fill in. Like I can. That, that's basically the gist of it. Was that was that was that? Look, we have to kill her. She just kind of is. The the two of them are really just. Uh, uncooperative and mean the entire arc for no reason well yeah and then and then they finally start cooperating and then she's like she's like oh yeah yeah you're, you're we're friends now by the way do you do, do, you, do you want to become an accomplished child murder there's no <laughs> other just, way we have to kill her no well, we're not gonna do that i see then we can't really become friends after all <laughs> i like her design i want to like her character but she's just so like the things she does in this series make it really hard. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, uh, and then the, the girl in question, uh, t t what's her? Uh, uh, Hotaru. Hotaru. Uh, she ends up getting possessed by by Satan anyway, and she also had cybernetic limbs, so she becomes like a cyborg, uh, like a demon possessed person, and uh, <laughs> and and then they become like well. And then, are, and then they're like, "Well, I mean, she is kind of evil now. I, I guess that puts it that puts it on the table a little bit." Is it either it has to go all in or or nothing? But then what That's would it. be the point of all these stages? That's odd. Oh, we're talking about Sailor Moon Pixel. Yeah, yeah. Specifically, Sailor Moon Crystal, the uh, the remake. Okay, so if it's all oh. the way, it goes in that direction. If it's a little less, it will go in the opposite direction. That's interesting. But all the other stages seem to be unnecessary. Maybe it's on the front end. Maybe the other stages are at trunk access, because one of them is on the trunk. By the way, I don't think we need to be in this room anymore. If you go up to the top, if you go up to where you were, there's like a, there was like a pathway out on the side of the uh, elephant. Okay. What? Oh, that's the that's the tone you take with me when you say you didn't believe me. 
I, I didn't see it. I didn't see anything like that. Oh. I thought, I, usually that's a take. That's when you're like, what? Uh. Alright. And. Oh. Yep. How many anime uh, have you guys watched? A lot? Lots, yeah. And for me, media in general, it's also a lot because I watch a lot of live action stuff as well as uh, anime. Uh, I am in the middle of re watching uh, a bunch of stuff, actually. Ooh. Uh. Oh, I was I was gonna say this is the, the, the Haruka and the, those three are a good lead up to uh, to what I want to talk about next. Okay. So the three of them, so you got one person who's willing to cross a line, as it were. Oh, that's the ice arrow. Cool. And then and then you have like it's just the three of them that are willing to do like horrible stuff that's kind of outside their mission parameters. I'm reminded a lot of the fucking of fucking Spec Ops the line. Which, Which is a game that you played recently for the first time, right? Yeah. Lucky, too. Specifically, I mean, it was a game that was, uh, like, delisted from Steam? Is that what happened? Yeah, recently it was delisted from Steam. Uh, today, the reason was due to licensing issues, but I managed to get it. So, it's, uh, so to when, when I talk about this game, I want you to keep in mind that the, it was released in 2012, and uh, military shooters were, like, popular crazy po saturated in 2012. Everybody was doing them. And when Spec Ops The Line was being advertised, it was, like, advertised as, oh, this is another, like, uh, military-themed shooter based off of, like, a, like, like an IP. Wasn't even the first one to do it. Uh, Medal of Honor was the first one to do it. And so everybody was, like, look, look at this going, like, oh, this is gonna be another, like, generic military shooter. Because that's how it was advertised. It didn't, like... They held their cards close to the to their hand when they were when they were like doing it is what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, so, so then so then you start playing it and the opening theme is just like a flag upside the opening screen like mini screen is the flag upside down it's all tattered and shit and then and then a fucking distorted like national anthem starts playing and you and maybe you're just like oh this 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 seems fine. Oh, you can use Reveille to uh, to get up there. Don't, I'm not allowed to inside of dungeons. You have three of them. It seems like it seems like he is accessed. Ah, I guess I can do it if I'm outside at the time. Seems so. Oh, yep, there it is. So, uh, so the game. So in the game, you play as like one of you play as the leader of like three Delta, de like Delta operators who are going into like a city, uh, the city of Dubai, after it's got wrecked by like a almost. Like a really bad sandstorm. Delta being like the worst. planes. Delta being uh, being a special operations unit. Yeah, there's like if you're in military culture, there's or in the military, there's like you know you got the Rangers, and you got like Navy SEALs, and then Delta's just another one. Yeah, Delta. So not Delta Airlines. <laughs> so they're going into yeah. this place that was recently bombed. So, well, no, not bombed. It was hit by a major sandstorm. Oh, it was okay, a natural. Right. It was a natural disaster, and they're going to check because uh, a, a battalion of troops were stayed there. It's like, oh, that's fine. You guys will go on ahead. We'll stay here and we'll assist in evacuation efforts. And then the sandstorm hit, and then six months later, they get a they get uh, a, tra a one tra single transmission out of uh, Dubai, which is basically just says like, well, yeah, man, we fucked up. Everybody's dead. God damn it." So they send these three out there with specific orders. They are there to find survivors. If they find survivors, radio in, and then they'll send the cavalry. And and then they're all just like... And then that's their orders, and the three of them are like, yeah, those are our orders, and then everybody's like... The three of them are like, we're not going to fucking find anybody. They're all dead. They're not dead. So they end up finding, uh, like, refugee survivors. They all got guns. And, uh, and, and they're like, well, hey, we, uh, they kill him. They're like, hey, we found survivors. Just radio back in. He's like, no, but it, we got to see if the 33 is still alive. And they find the 33 and they're like, 
they confirm the 32, and then one of them's like, hey, we found the 33. Do you think we should radio in now? And they're like, no, we gotta save the 33. You see where this is going, right? I am completely lost. Okay. Basically, the guy, the main character, the character you're playing as, is, like, making every excuse to, like, stay behind and, like, and, like, keep on, like, trying to assist, right? Instead of, like, going, leaving and, like, and, like, trying to... Oh, I see what you're going, you're, you're doing. You're opening that so that, so that when you put the trunk at a certain thing, it'll douse the flames. All right. Good puzzle. To, like, save the sandstorm victims? The refugees, yeah. Well, he just, well, just in general, just a lot of things. He's doing, he's doing, like, just a lot of stuff for seemingly his own ego. And at one point, so, then he discovers that the CIA are involved. And, and then, With and the then. The sandstorm? Well, <laughs> I don't think they created the sandstorm, but they're sure as shit not helping out the victims. And then, turns out the 33 are all paranoid. Because, because like of the of the CIA being involved, and they and this thirty three think that you're CIA, and they start shooting at you, and then uh, he still doesn't leave. He's still staying there because he's like, well, fuck, the thirty three went rogue. We gotta stop him. And, and then and it gets and, and then it, well, no, but 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 the thirty three went rogue. We gotta get called for backup. It's like, no, we gotta find Conrad, the guy leading the thing. <laughs> He knows, he knows what's going on. He probably wouldn't, uh, like, like, go for this. And he keeps going. They keep shooting, like, you shoot American soldiers from there on on out. And then you get to the gate. And this is where the game really gets fucked up. So at the gate, they, like, see, like, all these people. They, the 33 are rounding up civilians. And they all th jump to the conclusion where it's like, oh, they're going to round them up to kill them. We got to stop them. And then, uh, and so, so they're at the gate, and they're like, we gotta, there's a lot of troops. Hey, look, all this white phosphorus is here. And then all this, all these guys, the, your teammates are going, you're not gonna fucking use white phosphorus on them? Are you insane? And, and, and the guy's like, no, I'm charged, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm in command. You're using white phosphorus. And he's, and then they're all like, yeah, sure, let's do it. Whatever. And you do, and you kill them all, and it's all, and it's all like they're all burned, like all the troops are burned to shit. It's like bad, and then, and then you get to a soldier who's like there, and he goes, "Why?" He's like, and the the main character in a bad trying to be badass goes, "You brought this on yourself," and he goes, "We were helping." What and you go, and it turns out that in the middle of your white phosphorus bombing of like the troops. You inadvertently killed forty-seven like civilians, and it shows it in graphic detail. Okay. And and the, and then naturally the two people are like the two like troops are like really like you just fucking kill all these people. He turned us into killers. It's all your fault. And Walker's just looking. The main character Walker's just looking, and it's all fucked up. And he and you know what he says next? He goes, "We need to keep moving. There'll be reinforcements soon." We gotta make him pay for this. Jack, I'm sorry, but is this much longer? Yes, uh, that's all I'll, I'll go for. It. And needless to say, it gets worse and worse and worse until the end. Okay. Yeah. And, and the game makes it a point of blurring the line between uh, player and character. I see you in chat, Pixel. So I'll, I'll bring that up when there's less going on. Sorry, I, I was ranting a lot about it. I just... Oh. Water Blight Ganon. Give them real fucking names! Just Water Blight Ganon. I, I don't like this. Just a bunch of, like, fake phantoms. Please take care. <laughs> Didn't st I think Sylphiel was voiced by Stephanie Shea after the, like not re not reboot, but the later Slayers animation. The cast changes. Yeah. Except for except for Lena Envers being voiced by the same person. But most of them were still like the major characters were mostly the same voices. I don't think anybody could replace uh, Lisa Ortiz as Lena Envers. 
Ow. Oh, it's got a long reach. And time for Zalrog to remember the, uh, the combat controls. Well, that didn't work. Maybe Fire I should arrow, use maybe? shock arrows. Probably a good idea to use shock arrows, yes. Those are regular Wait. arrows. I just, I hit him in his big stupid eye and it worked. Maybe you should use the Master Sword. That deals more damage to, like, Ganon Blight stuff. Oh, that'd be too easy. Oh my gosh. I did, uh, after we used the Master Sword in the last stream, I, I did use it just to get it to, like, recharge again. Oh, I, I dodged, I guess. Wow, he jumped real far, real fast. Wow, this boss is easy as shit. I'm gonna guess that Mifa's ability is probably healing. Of course the fucking desert, like, dwelling, like, uh, dude has the most problem creating a water creature. Oh, are you, are you gonna have to deflect? Ice, ice, Good. idiot. I can't get there fast enough. Get him again. Oh, he's teleporting. He's teleporting. All right. I'll just, I'll spawn camp. <laughs> this boss sucks. <laughs> this boss this guy's is a, This guy's a jobber. <laughs> Squash match. Link versus Water Blight Ganon. Oh. It's fine, the next shot will probably kill it. Just yeah? It. Oh, you're going far away this time. That's a good idea. This guy's not... This guy is the... Is... <laughs> that guy was nothing compared to the Thunder Dude. The Thunder Dude is the hardest boss. This guy is... This guy is just shit. You pathetic fuck. I could have, I could have, like, not cut my story short and you still would have been able to take him out. I wonder been... what the, I wonder what order they expected you to do them in, if there was one. Why would you want to do Rudo one, the water one first? You would Especially you since the they ask you to fight a fucking, li the Lionel was harder than that. <laughs> You're right. What a, oh my god. The temple wasn't even that bad, either. A lot of people like to uh, praise this game's the... Like, the style of the soundtrack with the piano and everything. It's fine, it does its job, but... Uh, I think it's easy to forget that it's not, like, the first to do that. It's, it's yeah. really, like, drawing from the, the Minecraft aesthetic with the music. Yeah. I... Or building I on like, what Minecraft started, I should say. The thing, the thing is, I really like the uh, Ocarina of Time Majora's Mask soundtracks a lot. The, the Ocarina of Time, like, dungeon stuff was very ambient at times, and, uh... Courage, my uh, spirit wait. is now free. And Ruta as well. What's her ability? I'm a ghost! I this freedom to be with you once again. That must be inconvenient to put all that on every morning. My healing power would be wasted. You just you sleep in all those charms and things. No need of it. So therefore, I would like you to have it. Please accept. Silence. Just Mr. stares. Grace. He's not as, like, soulless as a Pokemon main character during cutscenes, but it is kind of funny to see him just not responding to anything. Yesterday, yeah, I just... I was awash in a pool of tears. The stare of... I had nearly given up hope and resigned myself to being trapped here as a spirit for the rest of eternity. But now you're here. This game, but they replaced the model of Link with, uh... Was to see with Gollum. 
promise me that you will. That wouldn't be any weirder than that one Street Fighter playthrough. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> I'm glad that character creators can be as robust as that. I must go. Jerry, I was told to spare you, but not your geeky friend. We are honored to be able to play the role of support. We'll annihilate Ganon together. Farewell. We'll annihilate Ganon together. Can't say kill, that's a big boy word. Annihilate. <laughs> Send Ganon to another dimension. Hey, can you, like, swim with your head, Finn? Is that how that works? Evolution is a mystery. That was under an hour and a half. Do you think we could tackle the Goron Dungeon? Let's do the fucking Goron Dungeon. Why not? Two dungeons, one stream. When I think of aquatic creatures, I don't necessarily think elephant. Yeah. When I think of aquatic creatures, I don't necessarily think frog suit. You know, I, I frogs are more aquatic than elephants, though. Yeah. Yeah, like frogs are near swamps and stuff, and swamps are famously filled with water. You don't see any desert frogs. Oh yeah, you know, Asui, with their fucking, like, sand powers. That's what a frog can do, right? Alright, three out of four. One of these voice actors are actually British. If we seal him away, then we can restore peace to Hyrule. And both your duty and mine will be fulfilled. I wonder how Link felt about Mifa. Father. If he like actually was in love with her or if he didn't really reciprocate her feelings. I have always followed my heart. Well, he barely reacted to her. He acted like he was uh, kind of having fun around Zelda, I guess. I could see you again. Yeah. <clears throat> just once more. No, you don't want to go back to Zora Town. You don't need to do that. I'll be all the old people like, you, but you really loved me, right? No. He turns around, walks away. <clears throat> You know what, if I ever play Spec Ops line again, I'm just going to replace the three Delta Force operators with fucking Haruka, Michiru, and Pluto <laughs> mentally, because that's I can't I can't <laughs> uh, separate them now. Haruka's doing her own Spec Ops the line shit, like. <laughs> so we get a free like fairy plus. Every time we die, we'll get revived with full hearts plus bonus hearts. Oh man, that's so good! I should have done that first. I wonder, that must have, like, a really long recharge time on it. Probably the same as, like, others. Alright. So next up, we're doing Goron, right? Right. I gotta, I gotta go tell the king that I did the thing, though. Yeah, t don't leave him hanging. I mean, he probably figured it out. He looks outside. The like, other oh, two didn't, somehow. <laughs> well, they, those were more subtle. Like, you, like a sandstorm not being there, you, you kind of tend... It, it's hard to notice, especially if it, like, comes and goes. Oh, the rain stopped. That's nice. I wonder if that has anything to do with Link. I guess we'll never know.
Link, you did well to survive your trial. I have been awaiting your return. The violent downpour has disappeared, as has the threat to Zora's domain. It's all little more than a bad dream now. Thanks to your efforts, there is no longer any danger of a great flood laying waste to Hyrule. You appeased the divine beast Varuta and thusly saved Zora's domain. <laughs> Am I oh. cool now? What you did for us is more than we could have ever expected of you. <laughs> one, of the, one of the kids is born. It is bored. It is fidgeting. I must sincerely apologize for my harsh treatment of you. Damn right! The whole time you were thinking of high rules and Lady Mifa's well-being, just like the rest of us. How the members of our council humbly fold our fins back in gratitude, along with the rest of our people. Perhaps the older generation of Zora, myself included, misunderstood Hylians after all. Yet yeah, no, no old person ever said that. No old person was like, maybe I was wrong to be racist. I'll not be racist anymore. <laughs> now then, I explore you to collect the treasure inside that chest over there. Okay. Is it as good? The, the, the Gerudo gave me, like, a thunder immunity helmet. Are you going to top that? What you have there is a legendary blade that only you can wield. You must take great care of it. Alda Zora, thank you from the depths of our hearts for your heroic and selfless work. Oh, is it, is it going to be the fake one? The fake what? The fake? Like, there's a weapon that's like that looks like the Master Sword, except it's purple. You have grown much recently. I know you will be a worthy heir when your time comes. The heavy rains have stopped, and the Divine Beast is our ally once again. How glorious! Yep. I, I'm gonna be real, I like Sidon more than Mifa. Oh yeah, he's... He looks like he can fucking, like, kick your ass. You helped save our home from vanishing away. This calls for a top-tier expression of gratitude! Oh, you're gonna kiss me? Yeah, do it. Oh. Damn it. Yay. How about a big Zora hug, brother? Brother, brother, brother. You know, I, I think about... Spear of Peerless Grace cherished by the Zora champion Mifa. Okay, I'm 22. It's okay. It's okay. That's the that's the national treasure of the Zora people. Nah, well, I, don't I can't want take it. it. I I can't take this. You keep it. That's why I said, oh, you don't need it. You got the legendary sword. So speaking of pro wrestling, <laughs> you I were much think... more polite about it than I was. Damn right I am. I'm a polite person, motherfucker. Yeah, I gotta be able to play. Oh, you were. What about I pro wrestling? I often think about, like, if you were to take, like, plots of certain things and translate them into pro wrestling, how much would stay the same and how much would be different? Like, like, ah, oh man, Ganon would be, Ganon's, like, a big dude, and he's, like, such a, such a, uh, he, he comes off as, like, such a heel, right? Yeah. Just, he's, just like, this, and, and power moves and stuff, it's just... The dude would be like a. Would, I just think like, if you were to put him, I don't know. I I or I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just saying that like, that like, like, like uh, yeah. Where am, I, where am I going with this? Uh, he's he's I guess a, a sort of charming heel though, because he's. Like, his whole oh. conviction is that power is everything, and he's got the power. That's why he has the right to do everything, in, in his view. Yeah, people were basically get Arm in! Get in! He's Senator Armstrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How is he able to resist the Master Sword's effects? Nano machine, son! No, uh... It's weird, because the dynamics in pro wrestling... Oh, you, something's burning. You should, you should unequip uh, yeah. that. Better not take that out. Something I have equipped? Oh, yeah. The bow. It's it's, it's, it's almost you need... done anyway, but... Yeah, well, you want to keep that around. So, 
Like, yeah, everybody would cheer because, like, in because in pro wrestling, you'd want, like, dominant, cocky individuals. He'd be getting cheered. Link would also still be getting cheered, but I think with Link, considering he uses, like, a lot of items and stuff, I think he'd be more like a, like a, like a hardcore wrestler. Oh, it's a Hylian. Seeing Gorons with, like, Sclera is weird. Yeah. Well, it makes him look, it makes him look kinder. Like, I just picture, like, Link just setting up spots with, like, tables and chairs, and him just, like, just, like, DDTing somebody onto a chair, and then the crowd goes, goes, holy shit! Holy shit! Then again, I don't know. I, I want to do a YouTube series where I take, like, famous characters and, like, and, like turn them into pro wrestlers and see what they'd be like. That's kind of why we haven't really been doing the Jack Mania as much anymore, because you have, like, very different philosophies from me on how to do it. Yeah. I just like having a character creator and having the actual characters fighting each other. You want reimaginations of all the characters in the context of pro wrestlers. Yeah. Is there a problem with that? I'm saying <laughs> different priorities is all. I know. That's my priority. Because I think that's more interesting. Anybody can just take, like, any Tom, Dick, and Harry... And just and just transpose them like exact into pro wrestling. I I think that's that's too easy. I want to actually see okay, but what would they be like as pro wrestlers? And it's hard to kind of talk to you about it because you're not as, you're not into pro wrestling like I am like at all. So it's just like I a lot of the stuff I talk about with like the intricacies would kind of go over your head. Oh wait wait wait, wait is he talking about fucking Cannon? Wait, uh, he's literally fucking Bluto, and he looks like that. Yeah, so the, the the beast has been like attacking, and they've been firing at it with cannons to keep it at bay. Oh, they're actually they actually have the balls to like fight to like fight it. Okay, ah. uh, it's just some back pain. Wait, who are you? Bye. <laughs> I'm a traveler. And came all this way to pay your respects to me. I like you already, brother. Oh man, the Zora's like, oh, this guy, this guy fucking failed us. I hate him. Meanwhile. The Goron is just like, Hey, brother! I'm the great Goron boss who's fierce enough to silence a crying child. Or to make a silenced child cry, either way. That's- anyone could do that. That's not something to be proud of, Bluto. I was planning to drive off Rudania like I always do, but then this blasted pain in my back flared up out of nowhere. That blasted Unobo. Okay, who's Unobo? I have not heard of Unobo. A young Goron who helps me drive off Rudania. Also, this is like clown music that plays here. Hold on, let me, let me hear it. Mm. It's kind of like Goron music, except, yeah, a bit more big bandy. If you happen to see Unobo, will you let him know I'm looking for him? So, he, he went to the northern mines to get painkillers? Painkilling right. rocks? And away we go, I guess. I like I like these Gorons. They don't they don't have to, like, eat from Dodongo's cabin. They eat whatever they want to. They're good survivalist Gorons. Uh, Pixel asked, what's the best anime that you've seen recently? <clears throat> hmm... I lean towards My Hero, which I know sounds like a generic choice, but I've watched a lot of Shonen, and the show has impressed me a surprising amount of times by, like, not falling into a lot of the same pitfalls that most Shonen falls into. Yeah, and also it's like it's like pretty hardcore. I have to take breaks from watching it because the stuff that's going on is just kind of like oh, it gets kind of real. Yeah, it's too real, man. And I know it wants me to I'd use bombs on these guys. But I already got an arrow out. I don't want to waste it. All right. It's, it knows. Eat this. What? Well, oh no! I have to detonate it. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh... I thought I remembered it doing it automatically after they ate them. See, the funny thing is I didn't even consider doing that uh, at a certain point. I just lifted the rock. I think you can. I don't know. 
Man. But why the North Mine abandoned, though? So many people out and about. You should know it gets much hotter past here, and there's also lots of monsters. Who are you? No. I am Drac! Blah! Blah. Ever since Divine Drac. Beast Va Rudania showed up, there's a ton of lava. It's way too hot now. There are more monsters around, too. Boss keeps watch over this area, but he can only do so much. Um, you, you sound like you're about falling asleep. No, 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 I'm good. I'm okay. good. I'm just yawning because I'm yawning. Yes, I better tell you where Unobo is. Yeah, please. Unobo went to the vault to fetch some painkillers. Why is your storage unit so far from the village? You know, in case it gets bombed. Can't this place is shit. dangerous, so you probably shouldn't go looking for him. I will, though. Bye. I don't think that... Does that... I don't think that suit makes you immune to lava. I don't think so. I, that's what I'm saying. I don't think it does. That's boss's hey. cannon. Don't you dare touch that lever. Oh, touch the lever. Got it. <laughs> Is it not gonna stop me? Uh. Okay. I, I, are you sure that's where you need to go? I don't know. There's a thing over there. Well, but the vault's the other way. Abandoned North Mine. That's where I'm going, is the abandoned North Mine. Yeah, you, I think you need to get to point the cannon north, get into the cannon, prime it, and then shoot out, get shot out. This seems like a bad idea. I mean, yeah, but in the lieu of good ones. Blow yourself up? You can tank it. You're wearing armor. You got a lot of health. Uh, Mifa's there to revive you in case things get really bad. Can you, can you I even get don't it? think this is what we're supposed to do, or it would be easier to do. Try it anyway. I'm Link, and this is Cannon getting shot out of a cannon. Alright. Wow, that didn't work. Nope. Did I it even fire to... a cannonball? I guess we gotta talk to Big Boss again. Better start walking. Alright, yeah. You know what, that's fine. Actually, if it's over lava, I think I think the heat will allow you to, uh, to glide effortlessly. Good thing the glider doesn't burn. Oh. Nope, I guess I'm incorrect. That's another fucking cannon. I don't know what this does. Let's find out. Oh, there's an enemy over there, I guess. Yeah, you got him. Oh, wait. Hey, yeah, those are, uh, those are... Air, uh, air vents coming out of that, that. Yeah. You see those air vents? Yeah. Yeah, use those to get where you need to go. It flew behind you, but that's fine. The who, huh, what? It flew behind you, but that's fine. Go higher. Is that as high as it goes? As high as it goes. Okay. Well, I want to get those fuckers. You're going to get those fuckers. You're just not going to do it from above. You're going to do it from below. Your aim sucks. That hit in the crit points. But you got him. Almost dead. Yay! You got him. Nice aim. Hey, dipshit. Alright, how are you gonna do this? Oh, they're, the other guts kind of burned away after you uh, killed them.
Uh, so. Amber. I don't know why I didn't just do this, to be honest. I, I, I don't know why you didn't do it either. The lava consumes us all. Is that how one gets rock salt? You mine it from rocks? I don't think that's how that works. I mean, it is a natural deposit. Yeah. I, I guess I'm more familiar with sea salt, where you just, like, uh, take seawater and you dry it out, and that's how you get salt. Uh-oh. Well, glad that missed. No. Anti-air. That's a that's a bad idea. You're gonna wreck all your stamina. Ow. Huh? I... <laughs> nope, go back, go back! Siege! God! Cut that it? out! You got him! Good job! Man, this, this is actually kind of fun looking. Just like, just fucking like, traversing through, like, fiery fields, you're blowing up lizards. Y'all go through this every time you want to get something out of storage. Nah, it's just gotten bad recently. We haven't been able to, like, uh, take out those alphas because of the, uh... Oh, Royal this? Bow. Hello. 53. 53. That's like... That's like fire in a fucking anti, uh... Anti... Armory, uh, rifle. An anti-armor rifle. I do kind of wish Pal World was uh, a little less firearms focused. Like, it, yeah. you, you kind of, once you get past the starting weapons, you never really go back to melee again. I would like melee options. Unfortunately, the guy who made it wanted to make a shooter first, and that is why it is how it is. Alas. Alright, how are you gonna how are you gonna do this? Uh well either I need to hit that with a cannon, but maybe a bomb will do it. A shrine near here. Maybe that's the shrine. Maybe you gotta hit it with a cannon. Yep. Ah. Fire the cannon. <laughs> So there, there's a Simpsons uh, series of episodes, or a Simpsons episode where uh, Homer was like, uh, he got a career as like a, a shy showman where he was like getting uh, shot with a cannon. Yeah. Did it fail yeah. to launch him very far? No, he was getting shot at with a cannon. Oh, shot at. Okay. Yeah, he was taking. He was tanking the hit. Cause, cause he's so fat. That's that's the joke. Yeah, and, uh, but it was starting to cause, like, intestinal damage, and a doctor's like, listen, or no, he didn't, he's like, uh, the, uh, there was a joke where, I'm terrible at explaining jokes, I'm, I'm, just watch the episode. Oh, that's not aimed right either way. Maybe, maybe that way you can just blow it up with a... The bomb. And I need a middle position. Oh, whoops. Just do it. Oh wait, I see what they want. It's just, it's just... They want timing. You did it. Oh. 
He's so using magic? He's got a fire shield. He's got Daruk's protection. Just There's a part play. of the song that is very close to just Brahms' lullaby. Brahms Strokers? <laughs> I don't know why they're playing a lullaby song in, in the Death Volcano. It's, it's creepy. Yo, everything good? Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh god, oh man! What? Oh, he's talking. That's what a good. He looks like the fat kid from Monster House with the blanky cape. Oh. You calm down, buddy? You good? I'm not an- I'm just- just a Dark Souls knight. Whoa, it's a Hylian! Were you the one who broke through that crag to rescue me, Goro? Thanks, brother. Brother. Oh, so that's it. Boss told you to come find me. Oh, thank goodness. In any case, I sure am glad you saved me, Goro. Name's Yonobo. Everyone calls me Yonobo. You <laughs> get some painkillers for boss, but a magma bomb caused a rock slide sealing the entrance. By the way, how did you break those rocks at the entrance? With a cannon. You used boss's cannon? That thing is so difficult to use, I thought only... I, I smacked the lever. What's a lever? <laughs> Wait, you mean you guys just push it manually? <laughs> you come by and see the boss later, okay? He may be gruff, but he always repays a favor. I'm sure there's a reward in it for you. Okay, then goodbye for now. Maybe they're, like, like really hard to hit a target with. I, I have the benefit of, like, some kind of magical auto-aim on my bombs. Yeah. Wait, uh, go back to the inside the vault. Let's see, let's see what's inside there. I thought there I saw some items. Alright. I'll go in there after. Uh, am I burning? No. no. Oh, it's just a weird just... visual effect on this particular area. Because you're in a fucking volcano. Well, like this specific there. part of it. Yeah, ha, ha I'm on fire! How am I surviving in this environment? What is it? Say, talk to him. See, see what he has to say about oh, being he, on top of... Okay, never I don't, mind. He, I don't think they have dialogue. They have dialogue. You can talk to him, but you just... You can All talk right. to him sometimes. Chests. We have... They're just robbing from the gore, robbing the Gorons. No, that's fine. It's, it's, it's your reward. You're just rewarding yourself early. Ice arrows. Cobble Crusher. There's twice as much in the pots as in the chests. <laughs> Alright, now where is the shrine? I'm curious. Okay, yep, good chat. Okay. Damn it, I thought he was gonna say, It's hot! Oh god! Shrine looks to be over there, which there appears well, to be a track going to it. But there's a, but there is a. Uh, the thing is, is that there is that it was hanging closer to here. Yolo. Okay. Uh, it, it pings more strongly in, when you're facing the direction of the shrine. Is how it works. All right. It's not a proximity thing. You ever see the movie Volcano? No. There's a scene. It's like uh, where a volcano erupts in, in downtown LA. Like in like a park or something. Oh, there's another one. You guys are, you guys are crazy. And at one point, uh, so it, it erupts and then lava is going through like some tunnels, right? And you have like one dude who like decides, I'm going to save these people in this like train. And he gets them all out, right? And, uh, but he's like carrying the last person. And it's getting so hot, the ru the rubber on his shoes is, like, melting. And then he sees that, like, the lava's going in between, like, hit where his where he is on the, on the fucking uh, train. And where the people are going, come on, jump! 
jump. And so he does with the guy, and he starts, like, walking on lava to him, starting to burn, right? And he throws the guy to safety, and he starts getting sunk in by lava, and he starts screaming. And then halfway down, he abruptly just stops screaming. And that's fucking chilling. Wasn't there also a scene in that movie where, like, an old lady tries to get out? Like, she's gonna be- she thinks she's gonna be the hero and save somebody. That- that's a different- that's Dante's Peak, that's a different volcano movie. Okay. <laughs> That's the one with Pierce Brosnan. It was more realistic, and it took place in Washington. Uh, that That's the one where the lake was, like, starting to fill with acid, and Pierce Brosnan and the crew, they were, like, going through it as they saw all this dead fish, and and then to try to calm the kids down, he's, like, going, row, row, row your boat. And I'm just like, not the time or place, you dumb James Bond. I think it's either beneath me or it's over that way. Crab battle. It's, it's a fucking crab. It's Crab Island. This is this is so sketchy. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Just don't miss any jumps. Or, or, or you'll end up like that guy from Volcano! <laughs> Good thing I was wearing hey. a helmet. I think it wants us to use those tracks in some capacity, and I, we don't wait, have access to them yet. Wait, you don't need it. Maybe just fly in. That's the plan. Yeah, just, just climb, just helm, just go in enough, hang on the walls. Yeah, there you go. You're gonna need to uh, find a way to get get out without. Oh, you're, you're committed. Yeah, just now. fast travel. I know. <laughs> like game where you just circumvent through that. There was Crab a, Island. I, the most, like the most, the shrine I most cheesed was one that was like, uh, it was under a glacier, and you were supposed to like go down this whole river rapid section to get to it. But I just, I, I crawled in the wall of the at the exit or something. Mm. This looks big. This is a big right. shrine. What is Resurrection Bob's uh, trial here? Blue flame. Something tells me you're gonna have to use mag magnesis to move it up. It's water. Mag mag magnesis. Uh, yes, I know that. I'm looking around the room. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking ahead first. <laughs> uh. Torch? Probably. Yeah, yeah, fire arrows, or you can just like. It's a good thing. It's a good thing temperature doesn't exist here. This place is air conditioned, despite everything. Can he make it? Nope. Uh, I was trying. I was trying to cheese it a little bit. I like the idea that, like, that, like, while the while the lava is destroying a lot of stuff in volcano, uh, like they they it took him until like it does like probably billions of property damage for like one of them to go. Wait, why don't we just all target the lava at once and stop it in its tracks with water? And, yeah. then, and then, and even so, they stop. It's Tommy Lee Jones, the main character, is like, "Yeah, we stopped it." And then the fucking me me like geologist is like, "Actually, it's flowing down these tunnels right here now," and they're all like, "Well, shit." God, are there any other like volcano movies that were? Oh, I guess. Oh, you know, you know what? As a volcano movie. That is like, uh, uh, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. That's a kind of a volcano movie. Yeah. With, like, lava. They're sacrificing people to a volcano in that movie. At least I think it was a volcano. Maybe it was just, like, an underground lava flow. I barely re remember that movie. I remember it being, like, frightening as a child. Yeah. But you, not I, as much know... as, like, Jungle Book. You know what my, like, childhood memory of that is that I, I remember Temple of Doom being, like, gore porn? 
<laughs> and so I was like less interested in it than Jungle Book. Gore. <laughs> uh, I mean, are you, are you talking about the live action one? The yeah. Of of a uh, or, or of oh, Jungle was... Book. <laughs> that that is my three favorite. Like like as a kid. I'm a, I'm a weird fucking person. Like, like that. I prefer the live action Jungle Book over the animated one simply because of like those, like, because it just reminds you that the jungle is is a fucking dangerous place. Well, it's a more interesting movie, to be frank. Yeah, but just what is it? So we had what was the kill tally? Oh, uh, yeah, it was flame a group over. of five guys, wasn't it? One, the one of them was there. plain old quicksand. One of them was Shere Khan. So what? okay, I, I I remember now the kills. Um, one guy was swall is like swallowed up by quicksand. One guy stumbles upon him. He's like he's like, what are you doing down there? And he's like, it's quicksand. It's sucking me under. Help me. He's like trying to save him, and he slips. And his last words were, "Damn you!" And then he goes down under, and that's the last time you see him. He's like, no. And then so the other guy is like fighting Mowgli. On top of a waterfall, he flicks up a rock, and then Mowgli like kicks him down, and he falls down the cliff because he lost his balance. And so that's death number two. Uh, third guy, I think it wasn't. Uh, I think it. I think it was Baloo that kills the third guy. The bear? No. Or, or am I wrong? I'm thinking somebody. The panther kills like somebody kills the coward. I think it was Shere Khan or something. The panther or something that killed like the coward dude. One was definitely Shere Khan. Oh no, it was Shere Khan that killed that guy, maybe. And then, uh, and then the fourth guy is killed after a sand trap in the jungle. That was the most fucked up death. Yeah. Because because there's a room like, filling with sand while the ceiling it, crushed it. And it, he couldn't get out because his leg was like injured, and, uh, and and then and then the sand was filling him, and then the thing came down. And it wasn't you know what? It wasn't like even the fact that like. Uh oh. Bonk. <laughs> Probably should have run. Or eat Magnesis. Huh? Moot point now. <laughs> I. Uh. And then uh, the last guy was killed by Ka. I think that was the second most fucked up, was the underwater, like, cough. Oh, yeah, he, he sees all the, the skeletons, like, uh, filled with crowns underwater, and then he screams. And then, and then, that's uh, the last you see of him. And then, and then, uh, and then, what was, uh, Baloo? No, uh, the, the monkey, King Louie, uh, was just, like, all, like, clapping. <laughs> The, la the first half of that movie, I barely remember. The last half of that movie is unforgettable. It's a great movie. Uh, well, the Temple of Doom, there was like a lot of like people that got fucked up in that movie. There was a guy who's got his heart ripped out, but he's just still alive. And then he got sacrificed to, to the uh, lava flow. And... Uh, Uh, what else? Uh, what hey, you're, you're never really big into horror movies, are you? Nah. I watched. Just... Uh, I've seen Final Destination. It's one of the handful <laughs> no. that I've seen. That that if if your if your only experience with horror movies is Final Destination, what do you think about Final Destination? It's memorable, I guess. They made they made three other like Final Destination movies. Yeah, I didn't watch those. I watched a video essay about people talking about, like, okay, so does Final Destination have, have any actual rules? And, uh, and I think the general consensus that I got from it is, um, kind of. Oh. Good puzzle. Good puzzle. Like that puzzle. I want to get that flame sword once I'm done with this torch. 
They're really fitting everything into this blue fire room. Oh, right? no! Okay, arrow time. Okay, is, is that what you think? I think, I, I'm pretty sure, because otherwise, otherwise you won't. Yeah, okay, yeah, you're right, that works. This is intended, but... Is that it, or are there more? We head up there and see what else is... Oh, you got it. Oh, okay! So that's gonna... So you're gonna move it to the right, and that, but that's gonna put it out, but you can reignite it, uh... By uh, by by using that torch, lighting the arrow, moving it over while you're still aiming, and then shooting it. Huh? Just move move that to the right side. It'll put it out, but you can you but you can set the arrow alight uh, while you're holding it out, and then you can just uh, yeah shoot it while it's over there. Yeah. See. him with his little trot. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, now you just move it over to the other side, fully, so that when you uh, when you get to there, you can just. There you go. Oh, that's nice of them. Usually, they don't do that. What's in here? Silver rupee, nice. Probably wanted me to, like set this on fire to deal with them, but eh, who cares? It's combat. Combat's good. Did you fully upgrade the uh, the mystic armor yet? The, ancient, the ancient armor. Ancient armor? No. Yeah. No, it's, it's a real lot. grind to get all the gears. Yeah. Farosh's scale. Where did I? When did I get that? Okay. That's useful. So, uh, horror movies. Do you prefer? Would you prefer your horror movies to be incredibly violent or more psychological? I, psychological, if I guess. I'm not really okay. interested in them in the first place. I'm trying to think of like of like movies that horror movies that you might like. No, I guess um, the torch doesn't work on these. Maybe Midsummer. Uh, the Babadook's pretty pretty gnarly. Oh, okay. Just just fire just. Just do the triplicate bow on them, and, and that'll... I want to burn. Yeah. You're fireproof, too. You can just walk through the fire. Oh, well, I missed the fire. Like... Yeah, because he hesitated. What Maybe were you saying? Wanted... Uh... Hmm. That's not going to work. Oh, it's not a wide enough spread. So you can light it, you light it up, right? And then you... Well, you, you can't, like... It only works one at a time, so you can't really do it the other way. I see her. Wait! No, that, that can't... That can't be... Freeze all the water heads? Is that how that works? No way. I don't seem no. to do anything. Yeah. Um. Guessing you light it and you stand up. Or, or, or not. You just keep doing stand the same up? thing. No! I'm saying that you light, you light the edge like you did the other time and you back up so that it's at a wide enough angle that it'll hit all of them.
come back. Further. Further. Okay, try it now. Like, aim up a little bit, and then... And then one arrow will hit to the right, one arrow will... No! That's still not why- okay. Uh... Well, fuck! What does it want, it's, want you to do? Stasis will only work on one of them, not all of them. Bob! Let me in! I don't got time for this! Oh, ho, ho, solve my puzzle! Uh... What oh. do you want from me? What? What? Oh. Oh! God damn it. No! Like ah! <laughs> Gotta go at a very specific go. angle. Aw, oh, it didn't count! You, you didn't hit those two. Yep, you only hit four. Okay, so it moves forward a little when I do it, so I have to do it, like, preemptively, not when I'm in the center. Missed one! Missed one! Bob, your puzzle's stupid. Too early! Oh! Missed one! Missed one! We having fun yet? <laughs> I did it! Yay! Resurrection Bob! Put down your stupid shield! I got a score to settle with you. You fucking mummy. Yeah, resourcefulness! Shut the fuck up and give me my thing. Give me my orb. Are you gonna improve hearts or stamina? I guess stamina. Yeah, just you know, get it so that it's like at, at like the second level or the third level, I guess, and then you can fly forever. All right, now. Uh... Wait. Ooh. Oh, you got you got a wooden thing equipped. Or do you not? No, you do! It's a torch! Oh. Well, I don't need that anyway. Go! Vroom! Uh... Perhaps... This doesn't seem smart, but I'll try it. That didn't work. Uh... Maybe you do, do need me- Oh, it's moving! It is? It's, it is, yes! Why am I crouched? How uncrouch? You clicked the stick! Go! Oh... Hit, maybe hit it. Oh, yeah. Motherfucker, hold on tight. <laughs> Look at how much fun he's experiencing. This is a person experiencing infinite joy. Did it stop? Damn it. No. Yeah, 
I don't even know where we're going. We're going somewhere. Back to the village, I guess. Yeah. Good way to get back. Hope this track doesn't run out. Just fall in lava after the entire time. If you hit it, like... Alright. Yeah, you're using all these weapons you can be using to, like, destroy a lion. This is a stupid mechanic. We better get a better way to do this. Uh, 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 Oh, the joy. Oh, the fun. It's like a roller coaster. Like a roller meanderer. Roller coaster! I wanna ride the roller coaster, baby, baby. Conveniently okay. has brakes at the end. Yeah. I mean, it'd be dangerous otherwise. Alright. Uh. Well, we've rescued the guy. So maybe we'll finally get that final uh, memory. At least I think it's the final memory. Oh, you're right. You can go check with the. Uh... Do you think Impa has anything for us? Not now. We don't have the memory yet. We do. We got the Zora memory. No, we don't have the Goron memory. Okay. I don't think we do. Yeah, aside from the from the crippling heat, this doesn't seem like a bad place to live. I think I'd like the Zora place better, if not for yeah. you know all the all the racism. Here's a reward for you. Hylians like you need this sort of thing, right? Strictly speaking, no. No, I'm wearing armor. Took my painkiller, so I guess it's time to meet up with Yonobo. Me no disrespect to Daruk's legacy, but I'm not going. Th I'm not there to give that Rudania a good walloping. Daruk? You don't know about Daruk, the Goron champion? See that oh, statue oh. up there? Where? <laughs> Good angle. They'll, they'll probably show you the, the statue. Oh, it's Mount Goron. It's Mount Goron. We'll carve your name into it after this, too. Okay. It's dark with like a little bab on his shoulder. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, the the top one is, is dark. <laughs> There's three of them. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm finally getting the hang of controlling this divine beast. I tell you what. Sure is a blast piloting a toy like this around. Let those other champions know. They better eat their gravel if they want to keep up with the group. Speaking of which, can you believe this view? Just look at all those delectable rocks sprinkled on those mountains. Mine I can't wait for the live-action Zelda movie where Daruk is played by the rock. A lot about this calamity cannon thing. I don't think uh, The Rock is going to be involved in uh, any mo mo more movies anytime soon. Especially considering he killed the DC uh, Cinematic Universe. Congrats on becoming the princess's appointed knight. That's a really big deal, protecting the king's daughter. No pressure. Also, he's wrestling again. The princess is a strong person. How old is he? So strong. She too old uh, and too streets. out of shape to be Remember doing that? high profile matches, I think. Huh? What the? What the? Okay, so it is a spider. So what was 
was I saying? That was a little strange. As far as I know, Death Mountain has been quiet for decades. But if the mountain is shivering enough to send out a bunch of boulders that size, then never mind. Forget I said it. I guess the Gorons just have American accents, and the Hylians are British. <laughs> and also the Zoras are British. Yeah. And then, uh... I don't remember what the Gerudo sounded like. It sounded kind of normal. <laughs> normal, huh? What's gotten into you? Highly and sure are strange. Anyway, Yonobo is actually a descendant of the Great Daruk. Explains the shield. That's why that slacker can even use Daruk's protection. He uses it to protect himself when we fire him at Rudania. That's the only way we can chase that blasted beast away. <laughs> Wait, what? No, well, normal cannonballs don't work. How many other options did you try be before you resorted to, like, firing one of your own at him? Uh, they threw spears, they, uh, they prayed, um, they, they, they tried, they tried, like, eating it. Well, what if it didn't work? Ah, he's got the protection! Yeah, I'm just peachy, dumb traveler, of course I'm not okay. Uh, I'm afraid I won't be going anywhere today. Hate to put you on the spot, but can you please go tell Yonobo that I'm gonna have to cancel for today? He should be at Elden Bridge. Okay. Uh, oh, that's kind of fun. Well, luckily, wait, is that, that, that's the Divine Beast. Yeah. Where's Elden Bridge? Maybe that's El Elden, just fucking go, he's probably over there, just go over there. Elden Bridge. <laughs> Elden Ring Bridge? Elephant! Remember in, uh, in Star Wars, in Backstroke of the West, when they were talking about the good elephant? That's... I missed that screening. Oh yeah, that's right, I didn't show you. You're there for, uh, for Ricky O, though. Yeah, I saw Ricky O. <laughs> that was based off of manga. Mm-hmm, and it had, like, a sequel movie that was actually animated. I kind of want to watch that. Yeah. <laughs> Someone, please help me! They're okay. just pointing and laughing at him. At least I, I think. It doesn't seem like they're doing any harm. All right, let me get my big stupid sword out. Hmm. My sneaking is struggling. Why are you really- Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, why are you really stealthy? I didn't want to, you know, waste the arrows, but... All like being lit on fire is nice. Does it increase damage? I assume. You well, know, you're just taking hits. Without, yeah. Like... Not my finest showing. No, not even remotely close. Oh, wrong button. What? That's the Power World pickup button. Knock him down, just like hit him with. Okay, never mind. Uh... Look, okay, now I'm used to using a bow for everything. <laughs> just fucking fight like a normal person. <laughs> Is that nope, new weapon? Uh, well, I mean, you have room. For... No, you drill don't. shaft. Oh, I, I've, I've used that. In my you know how they here. say that a drill is kind of like a guy's, you know. 
That that director, he did two two movies involving drills or two series involving drills. What director? Well, a movie and a series. The guy that was a lucky Gurren... star reference. Oh. You talking uh, about Gurren Lagann? And deadly and dead leaves, or one guy dead leaves uh, involved did... drills. The guy, uh, the one character had a, dr a drill as his dick. Oh yeah, that was that did happen. Yeah. Well, might as well use our drill shaft, I suppose. Hello? You doing better? The second time I've saved you. Thanks for saving me, brother. I would have been in real trouble if you hadn't shown up when you did. Still no sign of boss, huh? He's not coming. His oh, back don't... hurts. <laughs> <laughs> well, the painkillers didn't even end up working. Well, boss can't help. Nothing we can do. Guess I'll just Wait. go home. Wait. You're not going back, but why? I want to <sighs> Wow, you're that determined. Who do you think you are, Lord Derek? Daruk? It's dangerous in there. I like I like the idea of a, a dwarf-like creature having such a battle reputation that he's knighted. He's referred to by as Lord in a society without really lords. <laughs> lord of the game. Good old lord boss of, raised the Rock. bridge of Elden to make sure that mean divine beast couldn't get over here. Elden or to get bridge. where Dania is. We'll have to find a way to get the bridge of Elden back down. Okay. If boss can't come down here, then he can't use the cannon to lower the bridge. Hmm. Well. But you know how to use the cannons. Maybe we can get across. Darn. Okay. Yep. Charge up with your magic shield. My ancestor Daruk was a big deal. That's what boss says, so it's just gotta be true. And I can use Daruk's protection just like Daruk could. That means there's no need to worry. This is a lot of text to say, hey, get in the cannon and I'll fire it. Get in the cannon, Shinji. Or else Ray will have to. <laughs> oh, you don't even need to do any fancy tricks. Just point and shoot. Maybe I'll watch through the game Evangelion on my own one day. It doesn't uh, seem like a very fun series to, to like group watch. The original or... Yeah, that, that series is kind of... Uh, shall we say Dower? The original Evangelion. I I I, I, I seen it. I've seen the. Have first, you seen the uh, remakes? I've seen the first of the remakes, the first movie. But the thing is, is that I think the remakes won't make any sense unless you watch the original. Oh, that's unfortunate. I thought they existed to like redo the original story. Um, kind is it, did of. They ju did they yes only redo no. the ending? Uh, they, the first movie is kind, is kind of similar to how the series goes, and then they introduce new stuff in the second movie, and then the third movie goes off on its own, does its own thing, and then the fourth movie continues doing its own thing. Is how, is how I, I, uh, recognize it. And, yeah, the, the first, the series, the first series is kind of dark, and the end of Evangelion is really dark, and then the first, and then the remake movies start off, like, kind of similar with a promise of hope, and then it also kind of is just, like... So is it a it's complete? A, a, is it a complete beginning to end narrative? Is it? It's just the movies. Is my question. Yes, it is. It is. It's a complete uh, begin to end narrative. I'm uh, rewatching the original Fullmetal Alchemist with uh, Darian right now. Yeah. There's actually an arc that was in that version from the manga that Brotherhood didn't do. Oh yeah. You remember the train episode with like the the terrorist guy? Oh yeah, that's that right. That was from the manga, and Brotherhood skipped it. <laughs> Fucking Brotherhood. Uh-oh. They have spy drones. Wait, that thing has spy drones? Sentry is always a nuisance, no matter where it is or how many of them there are. If one oh, finds you, Rudania will go nuts, which will cause Death Mountain to erupt. Oh. I always get spotted. Then magma bombs come raining down one after another. If Boss were here, he'd swat those bombs away like they were nothing and force his way up. I don't think you'd be able to do that. I don't want to cause you any trouble. 
I'll Maybe you should give me a signal to let me know when I should stop and when I can move forward. I get, like, Murray vibes from this guy. Yeah. Uh, I'll use my mind, mind powers. powers! Real life I... telepathy? I didn't know you Hylians could do that sort of thing these days. I... Are you transmitting yet? <laughs> oh, they won't let me do that. Damn it! A, whis a whistle? I don't think I'd be able to see that. Mind powers. <laughs> I wish I would let you. I wish. I wish that would have worked. Just like, because whistles would basically just be mind powers. Fuck! How do I call horses? Uh, one of the D-pad buttons, I think. Down. I need the D up. Okay. Okay, so we got we got an export ex escort mission. Or like avoiding sentries or something. Yeah. Yeah, we're avoiding sentries. Centuries of thrust. Oh, okay, so you hide under the oh, this is this is such a Ah! Are you fucking? You just? Well, I didn't. Re I thought it was they were going in a circle around the mountain. They're going in a back and forth pattern. Yep, like a like a real stealth mission. Excuse don't me stop while I that. drill this rock. No, don't stop for that, because you'll get spotted. I won't. I'm the master of stealth, okay? Hmm. This will be stealthy. Didn't spot that. Uh, was I supposed to use the rocks maybe to distract it? Hmm. Can you shoot it down? With like with like your guardian arrows? Okay. Well the Speaking point is that we're not those. supposed to alert it or else it'll go crazy, right? Yeah. Um, but Otherwise, like I could go like climb around it, but then I gotta do something for him. There's another one up there. Wait, you didn't tell him to stop! He's gonna yeah, I did. move into the... Okay. Alright. Rock! Dinesis. I don't think that's gonna be enough. That's still not gonna be enough, I don't think. Okay. Away with you! Well, that didn't work. Well, yeah, I guess I guess the only option is to like just fucking take that shit out. Oh, okay. Yeah, we just we can just kill them, and they don't have any defense mechanisms. Maybe aim for the glowing spots. That seems to deal more damage. Does it? Oh wow. Oh, this this. You could use bomb arrows, but guardian arrows. Should probably use just a stronger bow too. I mean, you're using a pretty strong bow. Oh, I could use my ancient arrows, yeah. Yeah. Ah! Ah! What did I do? Oh, they detonate immediately in the fire area. I didn't know that. That's why, I, that's why I was saying... <laughs> you didn't say anything. You suggested the ancient arrows. Because the bot, I... Well, maybe that part was important, huh? Hey, what did it look like when I, like, died? Did yeah. someone, like, bring me back? All right. He did. 
Yeah, bl blame me like uh, like Walker blamed Conrad. I wasn't the I I wasn't the one who dropped the white phosphorus onto those civilians. Oh wow, you got two hearts left. You went, now, it's the okay. Real I got Mifa's protection. Well, do you want to burn Mifa's protection here instead of like on being it and not on a boss, or do you want to wait until? No, who cares? <laughs> I, I I feel it's the opposite. It's free. I have to spend money and resources on food. If I am like, if I don't have Mifa's protection, that's when I use food. Well, they also fairies. You don't want to burn fairies. Wow. Okay. Uh, oh, you don't have. Do I want to do that? Where does he want me to fire him? Oh, ac just across the gap, I guess. Yeah, because he can't. Or maybe I don't know. Oh, okay. I did the right thing, I guess. I guess we're gonna, every time we get to a cannon, we use it to take a shot at him. And get him to move. Maybe he's not a spider. Maybe he's like a lizard. Like a fire lizard. Man, it's a shame that, like, there's no real way to get more, uh, like, uh, ancient arrows. You can, uh, you can craft them, but... They're, it takes they're up like the resources. Yeah, and... They're you know, already, I've... like, pretty scarce for the ancient gear. Yeah. Well, I... Guess we should take the things out, because there's no way past these ones. You're going to get spotted if you stay there. This, this is annoying. Oh. This takes so much re... This is like a Lionel. But you don't even get, like, a fight with it. At least you only have to do it once. Unless you fuck up. So don't fuck up. Ready! He reminds me of Bolin. Oh, uh, the, uh... And Korra. Oh, yeah, the... The one of, one of two brothers that... Cora dates before before realizing that she's actually most compatible with with the rich girl. What's her name? Asami. Yeah. But okay, bring lots of to... arrows if you do this. Yeah. Like it's like it's, it's like hey, you can stealth your way through, but no, it's it's just like just fucking destroy them. Oh, you're out of your. That was your last. Uh, yep. Ancient arrow. So you're gonna have to do it the hard way now. Oh, shock arrows! You're fucking with me. They they've got like ground soldiers doing patrols too. Oh, I still got my drill equipped. Yeah. Uh... Alright, get oh. your cannon. The blood moon's coming. That means, does that mean the moblin behind us is gonna respawn? Yes, it is! I'm back! Fuck you! We have to climb all the way up Death Mountain in order to properly board this thing. This is this is the biggest of like a trial before the dungeon compared to the other three. I hope the dungeon that means the dungeon isn't as bullshit. What was the easiest uh, like getting into the the dungeon? I, none of them were really difficult. I think the second hardest was the Gerudo one. Yeah, but Wait, like the the Zora one, the the Rito one was probably the easiest. The Rito one was also the most fun. Right. Well, theoretically, you could sneak by him, but it'd probably be easier to just fucking shock arrows. Maybe you got plenty of those. 
Or I feel like the reason they have so much health is to really disincentivize you fighting them. But I, again, I don't know how else they want you to do it because no, you can't stealth past them. You can't stealth past all of them. Yeah. And the, it, please don't restore its health, Blood Moon. Uh, what is that, Goro? Why does it look so creepy, Goro? Nah, it's just still, it's still fucked up. Okay. Small blessings. Yeah. Well, you can't, I think you can sneak past him if, you know, the guy just hugged this the left side. Oh gosh. Oh no, oh man. Okay, good. Woo! What is... There's still more. Yeah. Uh. Want to try ice heroes? Maybe they'll fall and they'll shatter instantly. There's there's barely an opening. You'd have to go. You have to wait. Make him wait here. Go first, and then time it just right. Is it? It's it's more of a sure thing to just fucking kill him. I can't tell if they were as damaging as the shock arrows. Yeah. I think the shock arrows were doing more. You're, Unfortunately, you're this one is also moving quickly. You could just wait in, in like in one spot where you know. Yeah, like that, and then just. This wait Jack, for this him. is slow enough. You're missing and you're wasting ammo! I'll spend more rupees, impatient. it's fine. I'll spend my 6,000 rupees on more shock arrows. God, like, every time I, I, I like tell you that you're doing it wrong, you just continue to fail and you're just like, no, uh Because the oh, stakes I... have never been lower. God, it's so annoying <laughs> just watching you just piss money away. I'm losing my bow too. Yeah! Just, you're just like fucking like. <laughs> Why isn't this working? <sighs> it's just shooting it all over the place. Just, just pissing it away. Just... You don't give a fuck. You're just shooting. Correct. You're proud of that fact. Fuck off. Just... Uh... All right, I'll do it your way. I'll still probably miss. You... A strategy, a slow strategy done well, gets you the, gets you a good result. A bad a strategy rushed that gets, gets you, you the a same bad result, result. But you waste some of your six thousand rupees. Oh no! So waste. How is how are you so wasteful in video games? <laughs> because there's like there's it's no so point in not being wasteful. Who fucking cares? I have so much shit to spend. God. Just oh no, I'm wasting rupees in Ocarina of Time. Those are so rare. You're... Stupid thing. Apropos of nothing. You ever hear of Creature Comforts? Creature Comforts. Uh, that sounds familiar. What is that? It's a Ardman animation show. The Wallace and Gromit guys. Oh. I think it was in, like, the 90s or something. Uh, Wicker showed it to me. It's, uh... So they, like, took a microphone and went around interviewing a bunch of random people on various topics. Oh, I'm liking this in so far. In Britain. And then they took the interview responses and they put it to footage, uh, well, not footage, but animation of animals talking. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. That's actually... So it's like uh, some dude, I, they, they asked him about hippos or something. He's like, just lazy animals. Why do we need them? And then they cut to <laughs> some the, uh, hippos and it's some other dude talking about how lazy they are. Damn. That's... That's pretty good. I like that concept. I think I, uh, it got like uh, got twenty six British episodes, and they tried an American version, but didn't last. It only got seven episodes. Twenty seven? That's weird. 
It looked interesting. Similar kind of... A less mean style of humor, but similar to the Ricky Gervais show. I might check it out. Yeah, less mean is good. <clears throat> I it, hope... The Ricky Gervais show was still really funny, despite how mean it was, though. Yeah. Carl Plink... Uh, Carl deserves Pilkington. better, though. He, yeah, he deserves better, Pilkington. Eh. He deserves to have his name pronounced correctly. <laughs> This is really awful. I, I, I think this is my least favorite one. It's either you do a really shitty stealth section or you just waste a bunch of resources trying to like fucking take him out. And either way, I, I would be aggravated. Don't just stand there, help me! Ow. Don't kick me. Don't just stand there, help me! <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm, I'm not very good at fighting. It's so arbitrary, why even have the lever levers? Like, you know, all it does is add an extra step. Hit this once and then fire a cannon. I hope this is the end of it. I don't want more. The only time there was any depth to the lever mechanic was that time it wanted to aim us. It wanted us to aim. I think that was it. I think he got him. We beat the dungeon. Daruk is freed. We get Daruk's protection. If only. We're, uh, we're almost at three hours. You want to do the dungeon next time? Yeah, can we? <laughs> that stealth section is was really bad. Stealth section with a million that... quotation marks. Oh, we did do the stealth section because stealth sections are dumb. I'd like to do every stealth section by just got yeah, I have the option of going loud. Question mark. Uh, so Kojima is apparently working on uh, three games right now. Yeah. Uh, first one, Death Stranding two. There's a Overdose, the horror game, yeah, and a te uh, action espionage game, which yeah. I would love it if Iga left Konami to make a knockoff Symphony of the Night, and Kojima left Konami to make a knockoff Metal Gear Solid. What if, what if, what did they say? He said action espionage game, but it's not like Metal Gear Solid. Instead, it's like Thief. It's like a medieval. Sorry, Assassin's Creed. Well, no, I would. Okay, Assassin's Creed wasn't espionage action. It was just its own thing. But yeah, just like an espionage game set in like the Middle Ages or some shit. There was like vague magic. I'd like to see that. I... Hideo Kojima, Sly Cooper 5. Dude, if, if, if Hideo Kojima just decided to do like funny, funny animal series. Hey, little guy. Long hey. time no see. Hey, little guy. I always knew you'd come back. You know, I never stopped believing in you. You're here to take control of old Rudania back from Ganon, eh? Rudania. You're gonna need a map that shows the guts of this place. Diagonals. You can grab the info from the Guidance Stone over there. Now get a move on. So what do you think? Do we stop here? Uh, yeah. I I think, I, well, well, once we're done with this, then we can start on, like, the final sequence. Yeah. Which I don't so. know how long that is. I assume Ganon's Castle is probably going to be a dungeon of some sort as well. I mean, yeah, because well, Ganon's ca Hyrule Castle, because that that had its own map. We know it's crawling with uh, with guardians and drones and things. Oh yeah, and then uh, and then we there's other stuff like odd, little odds and ends we can do. But uh, that's it for today. Hopefully, yeah. one or two more streams of this, and we'll we'll be through it. Yep. We got through this faster than I was expecting to, but this has still been uh, quite a number of streams for Breath of the Wild, and. I think Tears of the Kingdom is longer. <laughs> but it's also, uh, you can build the vehicles and stuff. Yeah. 
All right. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. See you next time.